Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today I woke up early and I had to run and pick up a document for a client who applied for assistance for my job. So I already went ahead and did that. I didn't do any makeup because I wanted to come home and do some skincare. I did grab a coffee from Duncan while I was out. I just got an iced chai tea latte. It is very good. But yeah, we have a busy, busy day today. I do have a lash appointment later. I have to run by my office, write a few checks, things like that, go by the post office, edit my vlogmas video possibly edit an IGTV video lots of things to do but we're going to tackle them together and then I might do something fun and Christmassy later like bake cookies or we'll see we'll see what Patrick wants to do we can either bake cookies or go see some lights or something like that right now now that I'm home I'm going to do a little bit of skincare on my face I feel like my skin has been kind of not great lately I don't know like I don't know what it is I just I haven't been loving my skin lately so I'm going to um, be using a couple of skincare products that I've recently been trying out that I'm excited to share with you guys. This video is sponsored by Saturday Skin and I couldn't be more excited to share their products with you guys. Saturday Skin is a skincare brand that I sold at Sephora so I'm sure you guys have probably heard of them. You might recognize their products by being like super fun and girly. They're all in like the cutest pink packaging. I just remember like receiving samples of this skincare brand from Sephora and I was like Oh my god, that was the first thing I noticed was the adorable like baby pink packaging. I love that. You guys know I love pink. You can get these products on a major sale right now on the Sephora website. They're doing a Sephora-thon sale. You get 20% off of the already marked down prices, which is amazing. That is such a steal for high-end skincare. Saturday Skin is part of the Sephora Clean Beauty Initiative, which I know is super important to so many people as it should be. Made with no sulfates, parabens, no added synthetic free fragrances or colors. It's just like really natural, which I love. So I'm just going to put my little skincare headband on. I'm just going to start off with their cleanser. They just have like a nice gentle cleanser. <laughs> And I like this cleanser because it has kind of like a whipped texture, which is like really interesting. I don't know. I don't have anything like that. I just love something that like lathers on my face. It just kind of feels good. It's like good for self-care. I have a nice little microfiber towel handy. Next in our little rotation that we're doing today is the Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. This stuff is so cool. You can use this once or twice a week and this is like a peeling gel that just gets like a lot of gunk off your face. It's just like a gentle exfoliant but it does a great job and this one has fruit extracts of papaya and pineapple. So now that my face is dry I'm just going to get a little bit of this on my hands and then just like apply it to your face. The more you rub it in the more kind of like skin cells and just like gunk it'll like get off of your skin I don't know if you guys see that but it's really interesting to me I love doing this step because it's just fun kind of go in circular motions for like a minute and then I will rinse with warm water Next up, we're going to talk about one of my favorite products from Saturday Skin, which is their 10% Glycolic Acid Plus Pore Control Complex Toner. So this is a pore clarifying toner, and I, like one of my biggest issues in my personal skincare journey is my pores. I always try to get something that is really good for my pores, my skin's texture and tone. So a good toner is always in my skincare routine. I love this one. First of all, I love the packaging. I love the glass bottle. It's so freaking nice. This has like a little bit of AHA in it to, like I said, improve your skin's texture and your tone and all of that good stuff. But it's still like really gentle, which I love. So I'm just gonna get one of my reusable cotton rounds and just dab a little bit on there. It has like tea tree oil and witch hazel. Rub it gently all over your face. It's just great for like treating blemish areas. I don't really have a ton of blemish areas but I have a ton of like skin congestion just because I do wear like a lot of makeup and a lot of products on my skin. This has been great for that and it doesn't like burn or it doesn't like feel uncomfortable on the skin. It's really easy to use so I really like this. Kind of smells good too. All of their products kind of smell like a little bit fruity. Next once that dries I'm just going to go in with their moisturizer. This is the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. This is just a pretty gentle moisturizer. Kind of has a gel-like consistency. Like I said, it's really gentle and it is oil-free. I can like put it near my eyes and stuff and not have to worry about my eyelash extensions. I do need oil-free 
skincare products a lot of the time so it doesn't break down the glue of my lash extensions and they don't like fall out because I would not like that. All right, next I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite products. I normally wouldn't put this on right at this time of the day in the morning time, but I still wanted to show you guys because like I said, it is one of my favorites and I feel like you guys are going to love it as well because it is a sleep mask. You guys know how much I love sleep masks and I love trying different ones. So I was super stoked to try this one because it is totally different than anything I've tried before. This one is a Yuzu vitamin C sleep mask. So I had never heard of Yuzu before, but apparently it has three times the vitamin C that any other citrus fruit does, which is awesome. It means it's going to brighten your skin a lot better than a lot of the other skincare products that I have personally tried. So it even looks like fruity. Like, I don't know. I just love this brand because it's just fun. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm experimenting with like superfoods or something when I'm uh, doing my skincare. It's just really cool. So you can kind of see the texture there. It's just like really refreshing. It's like instantly cooling like as soon as I put it on I'm just like wow so yeah I just wanted to show you guys the texture really quick and now let's actually put it on our face so like I said this is a sleep mask so normally I would apply it after my moisturizer like I just did but I would obviously put this on and then sleep with it on because it's a sleep mask but it's definitely not gonna hurt for me to do it right now just to show you guys but like I said it's kind of the same consistency as their moisturizer very lightweight cooling refreshing oh it smells so good and yummy like I said all their products kind of smell like fruity and this is really really going to work to brighten your skin and improve your texture all of the good things that a sleep mask should do it does have retinol in it and a signature like peptide complex and the very last product that I'm going to put on right now is the wide awake brightening eye cream I love a good eye cream again another thing that I really personally struggle with is under eye circles like that for me has always been a big issue it's kind of genetic my brothers my mom everyone in my family kind of struggles with that so I always love a good eye cream and this one has been really nice it's just nice and gentle so I usually just squirt a pretty generous amount for me but like I said again that's totally preference really gentle kind of has that same sort of texture as their other products so I love that consistency again going to be great for just brightening those under eyes and of course moisturizing them heavily which is the most important part you want all the moisture you can get underneath your eyes because that skin right there is just super sensitive but yeah so that is the last little step that I'm going to do today I love all of these products but if I were to recommend my two favorites to you guys I would definitely try the toner first of all the packaging so nice like I said it just feels really luxurious and it's really cute on your little skincare setup and then the other product that I would highly recommend is the sleep mask because I just love a good sleep mask I feel like every girl needs a sleep mask in their life just for that added moisture like I said before all of these products will be linked in the description box below if you guys are interested in checking any of them out you can get them on sale right now which is amazing and now that my skincare is done I can go on with my day and like I said before we have a very busy day so let's go been running around I had to go to my office got everything I needed to get done for work done and now I'm at my last appointment it is about 3 10 my appointments at 3 15 um so yeah I'm gonna run in here and get my lashes done before Christmas yay and then I need to go home and um, work on a video I got the video approved by brand that I wanted to get approved so yay I can upload that today I just have to be in communication with my editor which should be no problem so yeah I'm gonna go home get that complete then we will see what else we do today tonight we don't even know yet we don't even know anyways I'm excited my day is turning around you guys I was a little stressed and annoyed at the beginning of the day but it's getting a little bit better so things are looking up here is what my lashes are looking like I had to cancel my last appointment so now it's been more like three weeks instead of two weeks but I don't think they look that bad I don't know. we'll see I'm sure they'll look much better afterwards though but I'm gonna text my lash artist and um, I'll update you guys after I am now back home from my lash appointment I think that's where 
where I last was vlogging, but my lashes turned out nice and fluffy. The lighting in here is like not great at all. But yeah, they turned out really good. Um, now we are going to make some cookies. So I was able to get home, get my video uploaded. So that's all good to go. And Patrick's being annoying. <laughs> so I figured now I would make some cookies for the vlog. It would be fun. So I got these at the store. They are just like, it's just like a Betty Crocker sugar cookie cookie mix. A value size, 20% more. So we're gonna try to make shapes on our own because we don't have cookout cutouts. So I'm gonna heat the oven to 375 or 350 for dark or nonstick cookie sheet. So we're gonna add, this is just gonna be like butterscotchy, I guess. <laughs> KitchenAid mixer link down below. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is what I live with. We trapped Buck with boxes because he gets in our way. But he likes to sit over there on that mat anyways. But this is just us saying, hey, stay over there. Technically he could get out if he wanted to really. So now let's start trying to make shapes. some of our cookies so far. Without cookie cutters, it proves to be a little more difficult for sure. We have a Santa hat, a bell. So this one was Patrick's, this one's mine. <laughs> that one's Patrick's first one. I think this star is mine, that star is Patrick's. We did a couple just round ones. That is the Christmas tree. This I looks like a rabbit. Yeah, that looks. one's just gonna be a blob. That one's a present. Here's a candy cane I did. This batch, I think is safe to go in the oven. Second pan, we did a little Noel action up here and a couple hearts and a couple blobs. Oh, they are expanding quite a bit. The Noel is not gonna be Noel anymore. Okay, so it's a little bit later. Um, my parents just left. I don't think that I mentioned they were coming over, but Patrick's being noisy. They came over to watch The Bachelorette. It's um, the fantasy suite night tonight when we watched it. So anyways, we let our cookies cool and now we're going to ice them. Here's an L. Some of them kind of turned out weird, but you know, some of them turned out good. We're gonna ice some. Mine turned out really well. Really? <laughs> really? That turned, that turned out really well. We're gonna try to dump a little bit of this. Santa cookie hat, I mean Santa hat cookie, that's a good cookie. We got our green cookies, now we're gonna do. We are the Grinch that we're iced cookies. Do our Noel cookies and white icing. Oh yeah. Wow, <laughs> really not sticking. <laughs> like what? Why is this such a fail? Right, Patrick's new suggestion. Gonna have to fix that baby. Last letter. And then I'm gonna do these guys with 
red sprinkles. We really used like almost all the sprinkles. I'm gonna do the red sprinkles. We're not doing the other method because we don't need them that sprinkly. These are like hard, the round ones. Mm -hmm. You wanna give me the plate and let me dry it? <laughs> Need more sprinkles. I don't like sprinkles that much though, so like the taste of them. You know? They don't bother me. I, they, I think they add like a nice crunch. So our final cookies over here we have Noel laying on a little kitchen towel because I want to take a picture of those for my Instagram story because I think those are cute. And then over here we have the other cookies we made and we just did <laughs> green Grinch icing as you saw there. Absolutely not the cutest. But, I don't like them. that's okay. Actually, I do like the green color yeah. now that I'm like seeing it together. It's actually pretty cute and we, I think we did really good with the shapes. Like we did the best we could without we a did. cookie cutter. Cookie cutters. Anyways, that's our cookies. But that is all for today's Vlogmas video. I am tired. Are you tired? Are you sleepy? I'm so sleepy, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna get in bed. Usually I'm like, I have to take off my makeup and go to bed, but today I didn't wear makeup, so I don't have to take it off, yay. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, you know. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, bye. Merry Christmas. Creepy.